Hi everybody, welcome back to Tyson Center Gamer. I'm your host Tyson, and tonight I'm going to be looking at the original game Risk of Rain. Uh, I say original because there is a Risk of Rain 2, and I did buy them both in a pack, so I'll probably be trying out Risk of Rain 2 next, uh, or after this, at some point. Anyway, I'm just going to get into it. I understand that it is a roguelike, and that uh, I've seen that it I've seen artwork from it, and it looks like it's 2D, uh, not side-scroller, but 2D platform or something, kind of. I see this item log. Okay, I see a bunch of silhouettes and a bunch of locked things. Cool. Oh, this is going to be fun. I've really been enjoying roguelites lately. Select a survivor. Okay, the commando is characterized by long range and ability. Uh, effective use of his tactical dive will grant increased survivability while suppressive fire deals massive damage. FMJ can then be used to dispose of large mobs. FMJ. Hmm. Double tap. Shoot twice for two times 60% damage. Full metal jacket. Oh, okay. Full metal jacket. Shoot three enemies for 230% damage, knocking them back. Wow. Tactical dive, roll forward a small distance, cannot be hit while rolling, suppressive fire, fire rapidly stunning and hitting nearby enemies for 80% damage. Okay, difficulty. Drizzle, reduce difficulty for players new to the game, weeping and gnashing is replaced by laughter and tickles. Really? I mean, if that's true, I'd like to know what that sounds like. Okay, let's see. The way the game is meant to be played. Test your abilities and skills against formidable foes. I'll have to try... I'll, I'd like to try the, the easy setting, but I'm going to start with... Uh, okay, hardcore players. Every bend introduces pain and horrors of the planet. You will die. I'm going to do go for the, the way it's meant to be played mode. I'm going to play with the commando. And it doesn't... Because it doesn't look like I can play any other characters at the moment. So I'm just going to go ahead and... And play. Desolate forest, ground for find the teleporter. Oh, I'm over there. Press X to open containers. Boy, those containers are small. Oh no. Okay, well, do I have a fire button? Uh, how do I first? trigger? So I can, I have to fire the direction I'm facing. That's going to make survivability real difficult. Oh boy. Uh, oh my. Oh, you can bounce. Holy crap, I did not know that. Oh. But I'm dead. Remember that his time increases, so does difficulty. Okay, well. Uh, it's killed by Lemurian. Nothing unlocked. One level. Time, I uh, got 96 points. I lasted a little over 30 seconds. And I got 7 gold. Okay. Try again. Okay, so it looks like a different area. Let me press it. I don't know how much... I'm just going to look around and see. So I, can, so I can shoot right and I can shoot left, huh? Alright, well. How high can I jump? I can't... I guess... I don't think... Can I decide? Nope. Well, I don't know. Maybe. Apparently, it doesn't appear to be fall damage. But I, I guess I can change. Okay, I'm hearing... Something is coming. Um, okay, X button is opening containers. What does the Y button do? Nothing. B button? Nothing. A is jump, trigger is shoot. Oh, it looks like there's a secondary fire mode. Maybe, uh, okay, I can see that down there. Oh, 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 oh boy. Okay, uh, and I, there's no, not really any directional firing, unfortunately. Ah, let's try this again. Okay. So it looks like I'm just gonna have to take a certain amount of damage. I have leveled up, and I do not see any. Can't get up there, huh? Let's see, what happens if I press left bumper? Ooh. Something uh kinda gnarly. Okay, so then let's see, right bumper. That's the roll, okay. That's gonna be the thing that once I if I learn how to do it, it's gonna be saving my life theoretically. Oh, is that a rope? We can it is, let's climb it. So where would I be going? I'm looking for something, but I'm not sure what. $25 to open the container. Purchase chest. What is that? Mysterious vial. Increased health regeneration. Oh, cool. What is my health? 142. Nice. Okay. Okay. It's, it's not a very springy jump. 
It's not a complaint, just an observation. Leveling up. Oh, you know, I'm, I'm cool. I think. Can I fire down? No. Up? No. So only left and right at the moment. I wonder if that uh, changes. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Wrecked. R -E -K -K. So I made it to level three. I got killed by a Lemurian again. I lasted two minutes and 30 seconds, 31 seconds longer. Significantly more points. I got a bunch of gold. All right. Going to try again? Of course I'm going to try again. Yeah, I haven't been playing this very long, certainly. Desolate Forest Ground Zero. Okay. Uh, 17 bucks for... Oh, I only have 15. So I don't know what these other buttons do. Let's see. Let's look at the controls here. All right. Okay. Ability 1, Ability 2. So they're just called Ability This and That. A swap item is Y. Use item is B. All right. All right. Not a whole lot of help, but like... Also, not completely useless, so. I mean, I hope that was an enemy. I'm gonna feel kinda crappy if it wasn't. Can you come up here? Oh, maybe not, but you can, you, you up there, you can come down here, where I am. Or I can go up to you. I see, so some of this is alternating between your attacks. Uh huh, huh. okay, alright. Let's see. So that was like an ambush. Very clever game. So you help does regenerate apparently if you just stand around but how fun would that be to see oh no it's one of those things it's, oh no it's two of those things oh boy I did not expect to survive that uh What's this? Is this death? Oh, it's... That's how you get up. Hi! That's kind of fun. X to purchase chest. Sure. Goody, I got another... I got a mysterious vial with increased health regeneration. I have to... I have to think that's good. Well, I hope this translates for people who have smaller televisions or just because it's a nice looking pixel art going on here, but it's tiny. I don't know why I did it. A bundle of fireworks. Opening a chest launches fireworks at nearby enemies. Cool. Nope. Oh, how about if I jump over this? Okay, that works. And, and you're coming to get me. Oh, boy. Ah... Uh, Wow, you're just going to take damage. That's all there is to it. Which I suppose, like, why not, you know? Oh. Oh, okay. So experience points, yeah. Are you coming down here? So I can't jump any higher. Um, what is... Okay, so what is left bumper again? It's a rapid fire discharge. And then uh, there's a big one there. Oh. Apparently, if you stand still for too long, something just jumps out of you. That's that's a that's actually a fantastic game mechanic. I like that. Increases urgency, right? Yeah. Speaking of which, I need to skidoodle me. I need to skidoo. Oh no! So, 
Ooh, a, ooh, sort of like a Jumpman kind of vibe. Da -da! This feels very much like that. Um, how am I supposed to? Oh, okay, so I can't. Those platforms are not. Uh, I guess you can't stand on them. Okay, so why are they even there? Oh, it's, it's not platforms. They're something to hold the ropes. Oh boy. Okay. And I died. You are dead. Level 5. Okay. Lasted even longer this time. Yeah, I'm gonna try again. This is pretty fun. This is a pretty fun experience. Try like Ground Zero. I really like games with this kind of replayability. Lately I've been playing, uh, or I, I was playing a bunch of Vampire Survivors. I kind of had to take a little break foot from it. And, uh, and then I played a game called Pixel Mage Survivor. Survival? And that was pretty cool. And it's uh, a mobile game. I, these videos are on my, uh, they're on my website or not website. They're on my channel. So like, if you, what is this? Prison shackles, slow enemies on attack. Oh, they came in quick. There we go. Anyway, um, yeah. So check that out if you're interested in roguelite vampire survivor type games there is actually a few of them in existence I found on the mobile store and I will definitely be looking at those in the future uh, this is, I didn't realize this was a type of game that I would enjoy the, as much as I am press X to activate teleport are you ready sure magma worm ancient lava something or other oh no Oh boy. I don't think I stayed alive. <laughs> yeah, that, that didn't take very long. Killed by Magma Worm. Boss. Alright. Let's do one or two more of these. So I don't want to make my videos too long. I want people to be able to. Uh... Yeah, I want to be able to hold their attention. And I don't know that I'm doing that right now. Especially to new viewers, you know, I have to give them a... I don't know. I mean, I, I could go either way, really, but I do like the idea of just kind of like... I'm also trying to figure out where I'm going. Not, um... Well, I don't know. There's a variety. I don't know what I'm trying to say. You know what? It's, it's, I, don't, I think it's a per exact science. Cool. So now, would I theoretically be trying to buy upgrades if I go to the main menu? Is that a thing? I, I... Okay. Starting to get it. I see the 40 there, but I can't afford it. Uh, can I go down this waterfall? No. Find the teleporter. Oh, I found it. That's right. I was. I actually did find the teleporter last time. I just couldn't. Uh... Oh well, I can afford that. Repair the drone. Oh, I've got a drone. I wonder how much that drone helps me. Let's go this way. I think I already, yeah, I already opened you. Ugh. Oh, so I can't jump even... I can't jump all the way across that. Oh, sorry. I was literally just trying to jump to the center, but I... Just a tad too late. All right, here we go. By the way, the music? Digging it. I'm always happy when I can play a game that has uh, 
has music in it. Uh, are you ready? Sure. Stay alive for 90 seconds. Oh. Oh no. I didn't... I didn't. I don't do the... Uh, the oh boy. I think I just got taken out. I died a slightly embarrassing death? Really? I, I died finding a buttload of monsters. How is that embarrassing? I mean, that's kind of badass. Right. Uh, you know what? I think I'll go back to the menu real quick because I kind of want to see... So there's item log. Okay, let me look at that. Okay, I got one of these. Fireworks. Fire 8 fireworks. Hmm to figure out how this stuff... Uh, oh, interesting. How all this stuff functions. I'm sure I'll learn as I go. Score... Okay, scores and unlockables. Did I... What I... Um, okay, top scores. Uh, stats, total time play, total deaths, total monsters, gold. My nemesis apparently is one of those things. Lemurian? Highest level is 5, longest game played... I see. Okay, so it's letting me know there's records. Oh, unlockables. Hold on. Unlockable. Oh, okay, here we go. Challenges. Defeat 20 Lemurians in one playthrough, and then it un that unlocks something. Or did I already do this? No, I definitely not. Okay, so the X is no. I wonder if it turns into like a green check or something. Complete the first stage in under five minutes. Survive a boss with less than 20% health. Have four drone helpers at once. Fail a shrine three times more. So you really gotta, like, book through here. All right, I'm going to do another... I want to see if that thing they were saying about gnashing is replaced by laughter and tickles and see if that's true. I mean, obviously they're trolling me, but maybe not. Maybe it is if it's actually laughter and tickles. That would be hilarious. Use abilities. Oh, he's even got a little thing there. Difficulty very easy, apparently. Mm-hmm. Something on the ground. What is that? X for a chance to... Oh, boy. What? I'm not hearing giggling. Press X to offer a chance... A chance of rewards? All right, sure. Bustling fungus. Heal quickly when standing still for two seconds. Cool. Um... work my way down. Wow, well, okay. So there is fall damage. That's good to know. It's very interesting. So now I'm kind of understanding, like, this, this dynamic of, could I just fall through there? I do. But, like, um... Like controlling it, what it actually feels like to control. So, if I were to see somebody else playing this, I would think about it differently, having been able to actually control it myself. Uh, theoretically. When I see Felicia Day play Vampire Survivors, I think, stay away from the things! You know, but she gets that... When she used to get that garlic... Um, upgrade, that used to be just, just going through and mowing down fools, and... But she would get really close to enemies, and some of the times the people watching her, uh, they're talking to her, they're like, stop! Stop running into the enemies! Can I shoot when I'm on a... No, I cannot. But also, those things can't shoot at me. Hi! Oh, but they can jump. Let's see if I can get up. Nope. Is there something that increases jump, I wonder? Oh no. Okay. Well, we should probably uh, stop dawdling, huh? Trying to find the teleporter. So, so far... 
Noah. Oh, oh, it's still here. And now three of you. Four of us. Wait, there's more of us. Can I get that money? Oh no. Here, this this money does jingle, jingle. I was gonna say I don't know how much easier this is, but I guess I kind of do. I might not be taking as much damage from enemies. I'm still taking damage, certainly. Yeah, that's that's gotta be it. It's gotta be part of the. Unfortunately, something like this could could take a really long time. Ouch. Ooh, 44 damage. Hmm. Now where are these things coming from, I wonder? Oh. Oh, there it is. Ooh, they can hit me on the rope. Okay. No, I'm not ready. Dudes! Okay. Well, that was absolutely your fault. Yes, yes, it was. That that was. I'm not Lemurian. I was saying it right. Uh, you know what? Let's go back to the menu. Let's uh, make sure that the uh, difficulty is back up to where it should be. And uh, can I change? Let's say artifacts. Artifacts can be found in hidden locations on the planet, enabling game options. No, it's got arrows, which makes me think that you could select something other than that, but I don't know why one would. Looks like... I okay. Alright. This should be probably my last one for the night. Or for the video, anyway. I might keep, just keep playing. Oh, boy. Right away. Right away, there's... Okay, I gotta take care of this. Oh, no, I can't. Oh boy, okay. Alright, then I gotta just run. I'm looking at this tactically. Oh, there's a chest there. Pretty, got some... Oh, I leveled up, awesome. I still haven't worked out what the good of leveling up is. What does it, you know, quantitatively, quantitatively do? And apparently... Oh, did I do it? No, I didn't. Boy. Okay, let's see if I can... Almost! Oh, see, I rolled into it. Oh, okay, well. That's not gonna work. Okay. Well, these pink things are... Annoying, but... Seem to be getting a little bit better at dispatching them. Yeah, 
Yeah, they'll just keep appearing. I wonder what this is like in 3D. Well, that's Risk of Rain 2, isn't it? But, you know, this is actually, like, a very satisfying game mechanic. Let's open it. What is that, jetpack? Yes, it is. Create jetpack and reduce gravity. Nice. Oh. What is that? Alright. Is, is that really an increased jump height? Okay, cool. But this also... Work on the... I don't remember how I had to go around the last time. Well, that's fine. I'm not 100% sure what I was hoping to learn there. Uh-oh. Incoming. Oh, oh, uh-oh. Network quality problems. Not a good time for that. Mm-hmm. Well, so I can't... I can't shoot them. I can't shoot up. And there's just too many of them to get through at this point. Hmm. Trying to hold still to see if... Oh! If there was an increase in my health regeneration, but... Of course, guys gotta keep spawning, so... Alright, well... I'm just gonna go... To the right. Okay, I've leveled up again. Uh, again, I'm not really sure exactly what leveling up uh, is getting me. No? Okay. No rewards. Hmm. Where's that teleporter? So those jellyfish things are pretty interesting. That looks like a place I cannot get... I can't go through there. I might be able to go around. Ooh, I haven't seen anything like you before. No, I've never seen anything quite like you before. Ah! Alright, well, I got taken out. Close! <laughs> this is pretty close. Alright. Well, that was pretty fun. So, uh, yeah, it's definitely something I would probably play again, and uh, I would recommend it to others. So, thank you for watching. Please go to www.tysonstandard.com to find links to anti-social show, gaming outside of my comfort zone, and Zuckatash Comedy Soundcast Soundcast, which can also be found at uh, www.suckatashshow.com and getting outside my comfort zone can be found at the YouTube channel SexyLaura27 Games. So I'm kind of wondering if I should go right into um, Risk of Rain 2 or not. Um, just to kind of get an idea of it. 
It's so tempting. But I feel like I should spend more time with Risk of Rain 1 before I do that, so I'll hold off. A little delayed gratification. Yeah. Well, anyway, thank you for watching. Be decent to each other, and I will see you the next time I do this. Bye.